Hey Nerea, welcome to the wonderful world of Mobius. My name is Michael. My love for cars started, I think about, I'm 50 now, so maybe about 51 years ago. It must have started when I was still being conceived. Um, I've always thought that um, your love for cars, your passion is either there or it's not there. And I think that's my weakness. Today, cars is my weakness. My first wife at 18 uh, was my first car, um, but her name was Katie. Um, till today, I name all my cars. Her name is Samburu. She's meeting you for the first time, so she's a little bit shy, but once you get to know her, she'll open up to you and stuff. What I love about Samburu is she'll take me anywhere at any time. And on the pocket, because she's locally assembled, no import duties, no excise uh, duties. So very affordable, a fun car. If I'm doing a lot of heavy off-road, off-roading, I can put in some off-road tires, but because I'm primarily on tarmac, you know, these all-terrain tires are, are perfect for me. The reality is Kenya has some beautiful off-road experiences, yeah? And to get to these experiences, you need to have a vehicle that can take you there. The Mobius 3 is uh, locally assembled, so she's not locally designed, but she is locally assembled. She's tried and tested all over the world, so she's available in a number of countries around the world, South Africa, the Middle East, West Africa, not as a Mobius, as another brand, but still the Mobius um, as you see here with, with a different logo. What I love about her is she's very practical, yeah? And because, as I mentioned earlier, because she's locally assembled, as a Kenyan, I know that a Kenyan has put her together, yeah? So we're promoting local industry as well, yeah? So she's not coming in fully built, she's coming in like Lego, if you, if you will, and then she's taken to a factory as a kid and our Kenyan brothers and sisters are putting her together. Now, because of that, as a consumer, I am buying a car and all the money I'm paying for is for the car. We have very high import duties, 35% and 25% excise. None of that is applicable to the Mobius 3. So value for money, I think she makes for exceptional value for money. Um, and she's just such a joy to drive. And I want you to drive her and not a road test from here to the airport and back. We will arrange to let you test drive her because then you live with her, you go shopping, you go with your family. You actually live with her, she's so much fun, yeah? If you look inside the sound system, you're sitting in traffic. We may or may not have a lot of traffic in Nairobi, but you, you actually, when you're driving a Mobius, you look for traffic because you want to sit and savor every moment. So where instead of taking the shortcut home, you look for the scenic route, take a longer drive, a little bit of off-roading, a little bit of on-roading, on tarmac, but she's such a joy to drive. If you look at the shape of the car, she's, she's very practical. Like if you're going on a safari, God forbid you have a puncher, you may have loaded up your boot with all your bits and pieces, your camping gear, your food stuff, your, your clothing. So if you have a puncher, the spare wheel is on the outside, so very practical. To get, uh, to get to her, to, to replace. The boot as well, very big. So, you know, if she was more aerodynamic at the back, you would lose some boot space. So here, very boxy, the rear seats um, are adjustable. Um, you can see the roll cage in here as well. God forbid you have an accident, you, you roll over, very highly unlikely because you've got such a wide track, but that's gonna keep you and your loved ones secure. So overall, a very fun car again. Like I said, she comes off, she can drive topless. Maybe a bit of a distraction out there, 
But you know, if we all focus, keep our eyes on the road, the topless babe Samburu driving around won't be too much of an issue. To build Kenya, we've got to buy Kenya. Yeah? So if you look at the birth of Samburu, she was, she was assembled in Kenya, in a Kenyan factory that gives jobs to Kenyans. I think that's the, the one biggest shouting, screaming factor out there. The second is, at the price point, you're buying a brand new car with a local warranty. So as opposed to buying or spending more money than this on a Mobius 3, on a second-hand car, and uh, if we can call a spade a spade, cars coming in that don't have warranties, there's a big question mark on them. In Kenya, we use EU4 fuel. So if you look at any OE, any manufacturer that is represented in Kenya today, they will only supply engines that are EU4 compatible. When you bring in second-hand cars from Japan, from the UK, there's a big question. Is that car designed for Kenya? Does it have an EU4 engine? If it doesn't have an EU4 engine, if it has an EU6 engine, the reality is when you put EU4 fuel in an EU6 engine, sensors are gonna pick up that that's not EU4 fuel. And because cars have become so intelligent, there, in other markets that use EU6 fuel, um, that EU6 fuel is so clean because they don't want to pollute the environment. Yeah? Unfortunately, when you put EU4 fuel in that engine, an engine light will come on at some point. The car may go into limp mode. You as the driver, there's nothing wrong with the car, but the sensors are sending signals to the car to say, listen, go into limp mode. You as a driver, you may feel reduced power. So you think, oh no, what's wrong with my car? Will I reach my destination? So overall, not a very pleasant driving experience, yeah? So what do you do? You go to the mechanic. He'll try and clean out. He'll try and do what he can. But the reality is, was that car designed for Africa or for Kenya? Here's the power plant. A petrol, two-liter turbo, pushing 320 Newton meters of torque. Um, being compact in size, being a two-liter, a lot of people say, wow, such a big car, such a small engine. I said, well, you know, it's, uh, it's not the size, it's how you use it. So uh, back at the factory, they decided to put a turbo. So that is up the, the torque and the, the horsepower is pushing about 216 horsepower. I've never felt a want for more power. When you open up a car, sometimes people will say, does your car have ABS? This is the ABM, ABS pump. So this is, um, how the ABS functions, that, that's the motor, the sensor that will you know, pump the wheels faster than the eye can see. We've got a big air cleaner here, so all the air that comes in when you're off-roading, all the dirt will get filtered out there before feeding her directly. This grill has been designed locally. So if you, if you see this car anywhere else in the world, only in Kenya will you have the Mobius grill. So this was designed by our in-house design team. the future is very bright for Mobius because I think more and more of my brothers and sisters are warming up to the fact that buy Kenya, build Kenya. We, um, as people are burning their fingers a little bit, if I can call it that, I think over the years, the transition of um, the second-hand car market coming in, all manufacturers are, around the world are putting more sensors in their vehicles. I think there will come a time when the market or regulation will be set up in such a way that local cars coming in should be 100% local compliant. First of all, 
reason why I love it is because of the step. Being a lady, it gives you the advantage step get in so you don't struggle getting into the car the other thing the interior is amazing simple classy even when you look at the seats they're not leather but they're high quality fabric attention to detail you can see it's a, a black uh, seat the stitches are white neatly done on the side you have your leather neatly done the other thing you don't need two cars when you have this car. Because when it's offered, simply come to your settings. If you want to work with me, it gives you the option of driving in the city and an option when you're going off-road. Let's say your tires are down, it will show you. So there is no day you will have a bad tire day because the car shows you, the car tells you. We actually say, he see Gary too, manze hini machine. What I'm having on my display right now is your city drive, your day-to-day -day driving. Let's say, for example, you want to go to change your settings. This is where you come. These things, you create them either one or two. And when you click there, you will see it's going to change. So let's say we, we go to theme two. This is what I was talking about, about the tire, the tire pressure it clearly shows you. So if there's an issue with either or of the tires, you know and it gives you a guideline how far can you go, do you need to change it immediately. That means you're able to take care of your car in a, in a better way. There is a volume warning, service info, like for now I know I'm due uh, for service in the next 6,293 kilometers. Makes it easy, I don't need the papers here to keep reminding me. So this was what I was talking about, set to off-road mode once you click there boom magic happens shows you the degree of inclination the compass everything so when you are on the road that's why i'm saying you don't need two cars you just need one car and the city is going to give you uh, the service when you're going off-road it's going to give you service so once you're done with that you can go back to your uh, normal settings so we go back to city mode and in case you're wondering, it's a four-wheel drive. So this is where you get to change. In case on a normal city drive, two-wheel drive. If you're going in a bad place, you go to four-wheel drive. Then it shows you how it is. If you go to the worst and worst of roads, you go to four lower. But in this case, you don't drive when you're changing to four lower. You'll have to put your car in neutral then you put to four lower, it's advisable. Uh, for the other modes, you can change them as long as, when you're driving, as long as you're not doing 30 kilometers, beyond 30 kilometers per hour. Why I love this car even more, I'm a family person. So the comfort that it comes uh, having a family and when we are uh, going off-road or to the national park we don't need to to hire a tourist uh, car or the vehicles they normally hire um, we'll go into details but you simply remove your roof you and your family bang you can see your animal you can see the nature and you can have a breath of fresh air i mean you know even when you're a lady there's, there's that sense of pride yeah that you are able to control such a machine. The other beauty is, it's a 2000cc single turbo. That means consumption-wise is good. Full capacity is around 75 liters. It will do about 9.5 kilometer per liter. But again, that depends on how you're driving. If you don't drive well, well, it could go. It could not be that nice. But if you're moderate in your driving, if you're those guys who want to catch up with the other guys, it might not be the same. So that will normally depend on how you're driving. Hi, my name is Tita and I'm a big car lover. I love particularly Mobius, Mobius 3 uh, brand, awesome brand, and yes, 
this is it. I'm gonna take you through some features so you understand why I love it. machine I'm having here has won two awards uh, by the Motor Pressing Agency. The first award it has won is the best design exterior and true to its words you can see. Um, and also it has won the overall car of the year award. So I'll, I'll show you why actually it won. So come with me. First of all this is a machine that has been designed with all Rocco Road conditions in mind. You can see the ground clearance, 210 is, is the actual ground clearance. You can see at the back the reproach angles, you know, the, the angle from the rear bumper to the base of the wheel, you know, across the ground. Basically, when you're going over steep inclines, high bumps, there is no damaging of the rear part of the vehicle. The same to the front. I know many Kenyans can relate to this. Eh? When you're taking a bump, many cars you have to go, you know, meandering. Eh? So with the Mobius, you have what you call a very, very nice approach angle. The approach angle is the angle from the front bumper to the base of the wheel, you know, across the ground. Eh? This is actually 37 degrees to be precise. So you're able to do, high, you know, steep inclines, high bumps, comfortably without damaging the front bumper. So basically it tells you, you are, you are facing even the highest of the bumps you can think of straight head on. I can use this machine across all roads. When I'm doing the normal uh, week, week drives, I can, I can use her comfortably. And when it comes to the weekend, I don't need a different car to do so. So uh, I can remove the entire roof and do my game drive, you know, everyone gets to enjoy. So um, just to show you the removability aspect, this can be done in two ways. The front part, I can just decide to remove the front panel and I can also remove the rear part of the panel. Basically the whole, the whole panel comes off. But for now I'll just show you the front panels. So there are, there are a number of hooks right here which you, you just unhook like this. Here we go, I just unhook here. Right here, right here, right here, and I have I can just push this one up like this. So you don't need any expertise, you know, to, to do this. Just a quick two-minute operation. And there you are. So this one I can just keep swiftly. And here I have my lightweight panel. Just put in the boot and enjoy that sun. It's actually quite lightweight, so even if you are not as strong as me, you can just put <laughs> Do it comfortably. I have a very, very big boot here. Uh, it's actually, uh, you, you can even fold it, fold the, the rear seats flat so as to create more room. So if you are, you know, someone, someone like me who like going to the very, very interior places and coming uh, to town with all the kind of stuff we get from the village, this is the right machine for you. Let me just show you quickly how you do that. We call it the split fold technology, of course, the same on that side. So from here all the way back, you have your entire boot space to, to enjoy. And now just to avoid that flapping back of the seats as you drive, there is this to, right, to, to hook right here. So the seats again are firm in place for you to enjoy the boot space. In fact, even for the guys who love camping, this is a place you can, you know, sleep comfortably. The fact that you can uh, modify this vehicle or rather put a lot of accessories in it to, to, you know, to make it have that feel, that look that you want is also something I love a lot about this machine. Like for example, this particular mo unit, I've done some uh, DLLs, those are daytime learning lights, and also I've done upgraded music system. I love music as I drive, I go worshiping, it's awesome. So I have, I have, I have them right here. I'm gonna show you. Come with me. When I turn on my engine um, right here, the DLLs come on automatically. 
This is a machine that has got an infotainment system that gives you all the kind of connectivity you want. I mean, majority of the connectivity that you want. For example, if you, it's actually a high resolution touchscreen as you can see, and you can operate it from right there or right here. All the controls are here, and also they are right on the steering. So you as a pilot, you don't need to get your hands off the wheel in order to really control this. So you, for example, if I touch from the first media, uh, you are able to see, you are able to connect the phone from, I mean, you uh, do a connectivity of the Bluetooth, USB, and AUX cable. Yeah, on the radio, like, um, like, I, like I mentioned, you can get all the stations you like, and, and you can, you know, enjoy your music right there. And uh, just to mention on the radio, it's a music, it, it's a radio that does not require an expander. It has got all the stations already here. Yeah? Um, on the settings, you have quite a number of settings. I love the display settings because I'm able to change the normal, you know, the normal themes that we have um, on, on normal cars. So for, my, for mine, I'm able to change, for example, from one theme to the other. You know, it changes the, how the cluster looks like. Immediately I switch on the engine. These lights, you know, come on. And uh, I've already put the hazard on, so this, this is how it looks like. Mobius has other, other models that are designed and assembled here. That is the Model 1 and 2. But this particular one is assembled here, you know. Um, with, uh, with our Kenyan engineers, with our Kenyan production team. So it's something also that is promoting everything in uh, I mean, uh, the, outdoor, outdoor, uh, the outdoor industry in Kenya. And that is something to, you know, to be proud of as Kenyans. This night, it has got um, you know, the tow hooks, both at the front and at the back. And I just love the panels. They are hardy. You know, like the normal cars whereby you are even hit by a bicycle and it's all crumpled together. This is a hard, hard panel designed to last.